Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to join me today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a command that's been in AutoCAD for quite some time. It's the join command. But inside of AutoCAD 2012, the join command became a much more easygoing command. That's right, it went off on a Hawaiian vacation and it came back much more relaxed, much lower stress command to work with, thankfully. So the main goal for the join command originally was to take contiguous objects together and join them into one continuous object. So contiguous means they meet at the end point. So you could like have two lines and as long as they met at the end point, you could convert them into just one continuous object. You could join an arc and a line together. In order to do that, it would have to convert it into a polyline. It's happy to do that. But one of the cool things that the join command does is it allows you to take arcs to join them together even if they're not contiguous as long as they have the same center and the same radius. And the coolest of cool things that it can do, it allows you to take an arc and convert it into a circle which really can't be done any other way in AutoCAD. Like if you go into properties and you try to change the degree of the arc to 360, AutoCAD has a heart attack and it says you can't do that, you can't have an arc that's 360 degrees, but the join command has managed to get around that. That's right, it knows people. Okay, so enough chit chat. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm going to be a good girl. I'm going to go into the join command from the ribbon, home tab on the ribbon, underneath modify, right in the middle of that second row is the join command. And I'm going to start out by working with some arcs. All right, let's zoom in so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to select this arc right here, and then I'm going to select this arc over here. And when I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and hit an enter, and you'll see it join them together into one continuous arc. I'm going to just hold my cursor over that for just a quick second and it will show you it's one arc, and it went in the counterclockwise direction. That's a key piece of information, all right? The counterclockwise direction. And of course, those arcs had the same center point and they had the same radius. All right, now if I wanted it to join in the other direction, let's go back into the join command. Now I misbehaved and I typed it in. I would select this arc over here first, and then I would select that as a second arc and it would go counterclockwise. Okay, makes sense? All right, so that's one way to use the join command in that case. They don't have to be contiguous, right? But it makes them that way. And I promised you that I could go into the join command and I could take an arc and convert it into a circle. Easy. I'm gonna go ahead and select this arc right here, hit an enter, and you'll see there's an option for close, which of course, the option is an L <laughs> for close. Whatever. I'll type in an L and you'll see it takes it and converts it into a circle, as you can see right there. Yay, easy, easy, easy peasy. All right. So I'm going to back up a little bit and I'm going to just kind of take a look at this joins a bit of a mess. I don't know who drew it, but they didn't do a very good job. I have like, there's an arc and there's, there's a line. Let's see what else. There's some polylines. There's another arc. It's just a messy, 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 messy drawing. Too many broken segments. You know, we want as few objects as possible inside of AutoCAD for the most part, right? The join command is going to come to the rescue. Now it used to be, I'm going to go back in the join command, that the join command was really picky before it went on vacation. You had to pick the source object first and then all the objects that you wanted to join with it. It was a pain. It would have taken me a pain to do that in this drawing. I am going to be lazy. I'm going to type in all. I'm going to have it select every darn thing in the join I possibly can. You could do a window or whatever. And um, now it asks me to select the objects to join. It looks like the way it used to be where you had to select everything. But in reality, I can hit an enter and it's gonna just have a little party and join everything that it can. So let me show you what happened there. 13 segments were joined into five polylines, 409 objects were joined into four spines. Look at this, this is fabulous. So I have much, much, much fewer objects inside of this AutoCAD drawing file. I'm not sure if that was good English or not. There'd be lesser of them. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to go ahead and select on here. You'll see that it did, in fact, convert this guy into one continuous polyline. Awesome, awesome command. So be sure to give the join command a try, all right? And, you know, we could all learn from the join command. We could all be much more easygoing and be a little less stressed. All right, see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you for joining me.